Hi everyone, it's Regina, and on today's episode of my acne series, I'm going to be covering a panoxyl. And then I kept some for my boyfriend, because he tends to break out. I think it's from my makeup, but whatever. Okay, so panoxyl. This is a very exciting video. I first heard of panoxyl through Madison Beer, and anything that Madison Beer uses or recommends, we need in our life. No, I'm just kidding. I remember there's a video of her talking about something that totally cleaned her ac cleared her acne, and it was panoxyl. So I was like, I need to try this. I do a lot of first impressions on Instagram and TikTok, and then if a product is better for somebody else, I usually give them to a friend or family member. My sister struggles with acne, so in this video, I will talk about the products themselves as well as my first impressions, and then I will conclude with my sister's um, opinions on the products. We will start with the Creamy Wash. It is 4% benzyl peroxide, and oh gosh, so benzyl peroxide, if you suffer from acne, um, anywhere on your, uh, like not even just your face, but anywhere on your body, it is quite common. I'm glad that people are talking about it more often. Benzyl peroxide is one of the best ingredients that you can use. It is a BHA, so it is a beta hydroxy acid. AHAs are water soluble and BHAs are oil soluble. So you need something that was going to grip to the uh, oil. At the end of the day, this is a wash. So it's tricky with these active ingredients because you're washing them off. So what you really need to do to get the best results is to wash your face, like obviously build up a lather. And well, for starters, you need to be washing your face for at least a minute. That's the only way you're going to get the best benefits and really clean your skin. And you need to double cleanse, of course. If you're using a product like this, especially to get to target your acne, you're going to need to leave it on for even longer than a minute. So build up the lather, let it sit. I think somebody said four minutes, but double check that at the end of the day. I'm not a professional, I'm just a regular civilian giving my honest opinion on the internet. And then that is how you will optimize this amazing ingredient. I don't really remember much, it was a while ago, but I liked it. I wasn't breaking out, it was during the winter, so my skin wasn't oily, so I didn't really get to use, I didn't really get to see the benefits of it. My sister said she loved it. Um, she washed it. She said it didn't last long. I think the tube that we got in Canada was a bit smaller, but it's still not. I mean, six ounces, 170 grams. I guess that's not too, too small, but she wished it was bigger. She does overdo it with stuff, with products. So if you're like her, you may go through this quickly. Um, if you're like me and you're stingy, you may not. When I came to visit, um, the tube looked like a toothpaste tube, just like just like a college guy who's too lazy <laughs> or just a guy in general I don't know just um that's too lazy to get toothpaste so they just like use every last bit she said it was nice didn't last long I say give it a try if you have acne it's a highly reputable brand uh, if you want the best results just leave it on longer but she always asks for it I maybe I'll send her this no I need it she needs to buy her own stuff I don't know but anyway so we do approve of this <laughs> and the next product I don't have it is a cream I tried it on once I don't really remember it uh, my sister said that it leaves a white cast similar to sunscreen. She's biracial and very light skinned. Like if I get a white cast, whatever. But if she's saying that there's a white cast, that's not good because she is quite fair. If you wear makeup, that's not a big deal. If you are light, like very, very pale, um, that'd be good. Even if you're olive toned, that's still not good because she is in like the olive range. And she said it wasn't oily, which is good because um, moisturizer, they do say it is important to wear moisturizer if you have acne. I know the last thing you want is to have layers and layers of stuff on your skin because your skin it gets so oily but especially in the winter months or if you do live in a climate that is dry all year round you do need some sort of moisture on your skin because your skin if it feels dry it'll overproduce oil and just you'll just be in just a vicious cycle so and last but not least the pimple patches that's not even the correct name sorry what are they called they are the overnight spot patches i gave some to her and then i kept some for my boyfriend because he tends to break out i think it's from my makeup but whatever i didn't really like it but my boyfriend and my sister love it and i think they're better candidates because they actually get pimples um i don't really get traditional pimples so i'll get explain their review so my boyfriend absolutely loved it a lot of my friends in the skincare industry love this product as well my sister uh, is obsessed with them the only thing she said is that it's not going to work for like a new pimple that's deep in the surface it has to be and i think this works with all pimple patches or even like little spot treatments um it has to come up a little bit to the surface and then once it gets there then it'll be able to suck it out but i tried using it on very so if i do get a pimple it's 
just a hard bump that's just too far into the surface and I usually just get frustrated and pick it and pop it and that's horrible and that's why I have hyperpigmentation. But anyway, a good tip is to take a hot shower, kind of like once it's already coming to the surface, kind of open it up, put it on, go to bed, and then when you pull it up, take it off at night then it'll kind of suck at all that grossness unfortunately it didn't really work for me because i don't really i'm not a good candidate for it but people that get actual pimples um you will be obsessed with it so mine and my sister's final thought and just from what i've gathered from my research my final thoughts on pinoxyl i think that it is a great brand i think that they do really well with um acne products i'm not going to name drop any other brands but I'm from the 90, well, I am a millennial and I come from a time where our acne treatment stuff would literally burn your skin and they're like, yes, it's working. When no, um, definitely not the case. Of course, acne hasn't been a crazy concern of mine, but I've seen how it affected my loved ones and it's just, it's really draining mentally, emotionally, not just on your skin, but just on your mental health. I appreciate brands that specialize in this and specialize in it the right way so i do recommend giving panoxyl a try like i said the moisturizer leaves a cast depending on the type of pimples you get if you don't get like big juicy pimples it's not gonna work uh you have to wait for it you have to be a little patient with the patches so you will have a bit of a zit coming it's not going to stop it in its tracks it does have to come up to the surface but then it'll get rid of it the wash is a good wash just remember to let it sit on your skin for a few minutes and then wash it off uh, thank you so much for watching like and subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok i'm slowly trying to make my comeback and if you've tried any of these products please comment and let us know also if you've tried dupes let us know thank you so much and i'll talk to you guys later Bye.